Absolutely. Absolutely, man. And and having somebody over top of your career that actually knows the ins and outs of the industry, the paperwork aspect, royalties, making sure you're properly registered, making sure your copyrights are in order, that is a blessing that most artists, it, it, it takes them some, some uh, mm, a, 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 a lot of bullshit to sum it up, a lot of going through a lot of bullshit before they meet that person and for you to be in these artists live that i've became connected with you know t pope uh little hitter all the rest of gas house that is on the station man and i i can i can see through talking to many of your different artists how gas house moves as a unit as you say and that is very very critical to success man so i salute you on that um i want to know man what is the main goal for your career your career as an individual, as an artist, what what would you say is your pinnacle? Um, uh, help many artists as I can to uh, stay independent. Well, if they stay independent, generate all the funds they can just to see artists get signed or uh, see artists stay independent and they get their distribution needs. Um, uh, distribution always here because right now Gas House has three distributions: one through Universal, one through Sony, and one through Interscope. So with these artists, I give them a platform to get their distribution out through one of them. So a lot of people say that I'm giving them too much information, or I might be doing this, I might be doing that. But at the same time, came up out of said that I'm helping too much. Or no, I'm helping not enough. Because I do everything in my power to make sure everybody stay independent and then they can generate many fun and stay knowledgeable. Man, dude, I, I, I hope y'all are tuned in and y'all are tapped in. Let me see those hearts go crazy for a second. If you are listening to these gems and these jewels that are being dropped in this conversation, this is not a conversation that you usually hear on a daily basis. Nobody, just like he says, people tell him daily, you're giving away too much, you're telling too much, you're doing too much. Nobody hears this side. Nobody gets to hear what you need to do what everybody likes to keep it behind a steel curtain to say um oh you might need to do this or you might want to go this way or you're going to have to pay me x amount of dollars to find out this information this information is being given to you completely free and out of the goodness of inferno's heart man and he is for the artist i can tell just from this little bit of conversation and from the interactions we've had since this interview has been set up that this is a genuine 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 individual that you want to be tapped in and connected with so make sure you tap into the description to follow all his links all his social media he's going to shout it out for you at the end but make sure you tap in with him all right man so we're gonna have a little bit of fun real quick man we're gonna sit back i want you to think right now in this current state of the industry who is your top five current rappers uh you want me to give you my top five and why i chose them Hey, let's, let's get, get it. it. Let's get it. Well, my top five, number one gonna be Young Boy, NBA Young Boy. The reason why I say NBA Young Boy because his digital platform is is crazy. He did something that ain't nobody has ever done digital. Um, for us the followers, the fans, the views he get in less than an hour. His digital presence is amazing. If a lot of people catch on to what he's doing digital, oh man, you, you can make an incredible amount of money. You just have to stay consistent in the same way he stayed consistent with. Um, in this day and time, my second one would be, I would go with Lil Dirk. Okay. Okay. The reason why I think that's just because up north, he got in block. And he, he did something that, what well, NBA young boy is in the South, he did it up north. So it's like, they digital platform is crazy. In this day and age, digital is the way to go. I can do many shows and I can get <laughs> uh, a million streams in an hour. I think I made more money than I made in a million shows. That, hey, hey, talk about it. <laughs> right. So if I say that I got a million streams, you can say, yeah, that's only a million streams. I think about how many different platforms it is. So if I got 200, 300 different platforms with a million streams, count the money. Hey, are you, I ain't got my sound effects, man. I ain't got my sound effects queued up, but goddamn, are you hearing these gems on and dropping on your head, man? Listen, 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 artists, listen. You want to tap in, man. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Then I would say I would go with 
I, I, I watched Kendrick Lamar album come out, so I'm gonna go with him for my third. I, I'm not a, a big fan of Kendrick Lamar myself, but his his presence of what he do, I'm a fan of. Because if you watch, he waited so long to press the issue of doing singles and not coming out with an album. But when he did come out with an album, everybody was working on it. So by everybody, everybody did the pre-save, clicked on it. And a lot of artists don't know what pre-save link, it saved you every time. Absolutely. <laughs> so, share, share, share. Get your team behind you. Share, share, share. Get the radio behind you. Internet radio or worldwide radio or overseas radio. Wherever you can get behind you to help push you, you, you try to get that and keep the connection with them. You never try to lose the things at all. Absolutely. He's not only let me let me tell you something. He's not only breaking down his top five current rappers, he's giving you reasons to why they are in his top five, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this this man is on to something. Let's keep it coming. We got three so far. Let's go. My, my next one gonna be fifty cent. Okay. I'm almost fifty cent for a reason. Fifty cent been in the game for a long time. Long time. But if you watch, he's, he's still doing the music, but he branched off and starts trying to help a lot of independent artists also. So with the help of independent artists, he started putting them in roles and movies that also from the other movie. So if you look at a lot of his movies, half of these people was unknown. But then if you go back and look, go back and just check them out and see who in this movie, all of them did music. Way before they even started doing a role in the movie. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, 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 and, and when you say, I, I look at it as a person that I'm a CEO. If a CEO is not able to set a platform or, or show they, they, they digital footprint, then it, it's impossible to call yourself a CEO. <laughs> Got to, man. Say, man, I'm telling you, your digital footprint, man, if, 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 and that goes for CEOs, that goes for artists, that lets somebody, like, if, if, if I come to you and I'm like, hey, I have this internet radio station, um, send me your EPK. What's the EPK? That lets me know right there. Yep. That lets me know right there how serious you take your career because, I mean, EPKs are like the, 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 the bottom line starting point of what you need. After you get your music recorded, after you got a little bit of a catalog, and hey, I'm gonna take this music seriously, I need an EPK. Because the EPK, I ain't gotta ask you nothing directly about yourself. Your EPK will tell me where I can find you at, your little bio, a couple of your singles. It, it gives all the info needed in that EPK. And if you don't have that, i.e. digital footprint, I, I, it ain't too much we can do with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that was four. Round it out yep. with number five. My last one gonna be Snoop Dogg. Okay. Baby, say oh, Snoop Dogg. Why Snoop Dogg? You better check Snoop Dogg out. Snoop Dogg hit every gender of music. Not one gender of music he didn't hit. And in this, that was amazing. Yep, that 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 is that is one thing about Snoop Dogg that a lot of people don't realize. They just see he's been around for a long time, but he constantly hits a stride where he reinvents himself. He constantly he's never stagnant in one lane. You're not gonna get '90 Snoop in 2022. That, that that's that's not the music you're gonna hear from Snoop. Okay, so when we say reinvent yourself, it doesn't mean completely change who you are because trust me he's still that in the street um weed smoking weed head motherfucker you know and love snoop doggy dog but i mean we got snoop lion we got him working with charlie wilson we got sexual seduction i promise you when he first came out in the late 80s early 90s he was not thinking about sexual seduction at all no but when it came time for that auto tune in about 2008 when that shit took yeah. off, what did he do? He reinvented itself. That's, That's what you yeah. constantly have to do. It ain't changing yourself. It's evolving yourself to the current state of music. And that's what it's all about, man. So that right there was Inferno's top five current rappers. Current rappers. Now we gonna get into the nitty gritty. I need your top five all time dead or alive. 
Woo! Dead or alive. <laughs> uh, Pimp C, number one. All right. All right. I go with Pimp C because that man was a legend, and he was great at what he did. He he, he established connections that couldn't nobody else establish. And, okay, a lot of people didn't know, even in the, the early 90s, when, when Pimp C started doing that movement he had, um, for the, the West Coast and the, the South Connection, a lot of people didn't know that he even started that. He started going to the West Coast and putting the music for a lot of independent artists to the West Coast, which our music was never heard. So I, I salute him 10,000% on that. Absolutely. And then he was doing, going to the West Coast, he went to the North, where we was not even heard. So everybody want to know how the South music got to the North, well, we need to thank Pimp C. If you think I'm, I'm just navigating it, that's all you got to do is look it up. It'll show you. Hey, I'm telling you, it's not only loving music, but it's knowing the history of music as well. That is what I say to artists when they're so stuck on what is currently happening. If you don't know where the shit came from, you can't progress further in your career. It just won't happen. You will stay stagnant in this, no disrespect, but NBA young boy generation of music. It's a reason why if Pimp C was still here, he would still be making hits and still be relevant. It's a reason why Snoop Dogg is still relevant. It's because of evolving and moving and learning. Snoop Dogg know his history of music. Pimp C know his history of music. And now look what happened. They are now part of the history of music because of knowing the history of music. That's number one. Let's get to number two. <laughs> Oh, two. Let's go with Jay Z. Okay, okay. Because Jay Z did put a lot of people on. He put a lot of artists on. Him. Um, he started stuff that and started trends that nobody else started. Oh, um, so I support him and, and believe in that movement that he had. Uh, it just wasn't for itself. Because you look at all the different record labels that's tied up under him, even then and now, it's a lot. It's just on a little bit. Because you can go and get guy to Labor Day on the him. Oh, uh, oh man, uh, Snoop Dogg was part of on a part of the Labor for a little minute, but it, it was on the distribution tool. Right. So, put a lot of distribution through a lot of them, and you can say, "Well, what about Universal?" You go look at it; they got part of Universal. Right, right, right. 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 And, and man, I'm, I'm telling you, this man knows, knows his history. history. I love it when interviews go like this, man. I love it. It's, it, it, it adds to the interview. It gives you what you came to get. You came to have possibly have an opportunity at free radio play, but you're leaving with a bunch of gems, diamonds, and jewels that you will not find anywhere else. This is a genuine interview. Make sure you're sharing this broadcast out to all your followers, all your fans, and all your friends, man. That was his number two. Let's see what his number three going to be, y'all. I uh, mean, my three gonna always stay the same. That's gonna be Boosie. Lil Boosie. Lil Boosie hit the South by storm. I'm talking about from young and other camp <laughs> to what he is now, Boosie Badass. That, that man there has put a lot of artists in Alabama on. So I'll let that Boosie put nobody on. Boosie put a lot of artists on from Louisiana, from uh, Alabama, Mississippi. Texas, he, he made to the cover the South on grabbing artists. So I feel like he got shot out a lot. Absolutely. And that goes back into something we said earlier, originality. When Boosie came out, he sounded like nothing you had ever heard before. From his verse to his cadences to his flows, it just was different. It was refreshing. And when you hit the scene at the right time and it's refreshing, Oh, your, your, your career gonna skyrocket off rip and the originality aspect of that as well. That is his number three. Boosie running out at number three. What's your number four, bro? Number four gonna be Mike Jones. Because Whoa. he's one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yep, yeah, my number four is Mike Jones because his marketing strategy is amazing. He, he told everybody about the skybox. A lot of people didn't even know about the skybox and how they even made the towels and pools for a lot of artists' meets. So, you go look at his interviews, and you're going to see a lot. He's going to teach you a lot about the industry and about on oh, staying in the pool. Um, how you can start a wave just by, like he said, repeating his name over and over again on the track. And and with the market behind it, the promotion behind it, and he made millions. Right, right. 
Absolutely. 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 I mean, I, mean, I can't, I can't, I can't remember, remember it to this day because Lord knows I had about 20,000 other phone numbers in my head. But when the song came out, you knew that phone number and you knew who? Mike Jones. See, that's, that's why I like doing these top fives because you never know what names are going to sneak in there. Yeah, it's cool to have, you know, your, you know, your typical top fives. Tupac, Biggie, Grandmaster, Flat, you know, paying respect to all of them, but an original top five list that you can't get nowhere else and somebody's perspective on what they feel like is the top five of all time is, is, is undeniable, man. It's undeniable. So we've hit that point where number five, who is the number five that is going to round this list out for you, bro? Eric Badu. Woo! <laughs> I, I couldn't leave her out. I couldn't leave her out. She would have been either four or either five, but I, I went in to put it at five. Oh, her marketing strategy is amazing. A lot of people say, oh, she fell off. She's not doing music. You better go check overseas how she ran the bag up overseas. Because she ran it up crazy. And she's still running it up and still doing a lot of shows that's overseas, which is bringing in a lot of money. Because I think when I looked up a couple of days ago, I thought she was getting right at $250,000 a show of U.S. currency. Yes. 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 And 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 you got to think about it, man. That's when you know when you hit the scene, you made such an impact because that goes for Kendrick too. They haven't put out an album in so long, but because of their work ethic and the quality of music they put out when they did and how hard they hit it when they did, they can ride that wave for as long as they want to. I promise yep. you, her feet, no matter how old she may get or how long it takes for her to put out any more music, her feet will never drop because your value is everything. When you put quality, effort, and time into your music career, it will show residuals. Not immediately. She wasn't getting 250K a show when she dropped her first album. But now, let me tell you something. She ain't getting no less than that. And artists, you have to know that when the artist showcase happens, when 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 the artist competition happens and you're not getting paid for your shows, you must know that no, it isn't about you not getting paid. It's literally about the exposure because best believe the promoter who put that show on, he's paying out of pocket for the security, he's paying out of pocket for the DJ, he's paying for the venue, and literally you're not coming out of pocket for nothing but your promotion and you showing up with your catalog. And you get all of that exposure from an event that you had no help in putting together. So that's what we say when we say take advantage of every opportunity. Do not overlook any opportunity that may come your way as long as it's a positive experience. So once again, man, that was his top five current rappers. And then we did top five of all time, man. So we're going to get into, we're about to wrap it up, man, but... I want to know what can we expect next from Inferno, man. What can we expect next? Inferno gonna put out his last album. It will be my last album. Still gonna be singles. It's the last album that's coming out. Gonna be. It's called Quitches. Oh, um, it's gonna be the last album that I'm actually gonna do. But I got a lot of features that I have done. I done worked with a lot of um, mainstream artists to uh, so a lot of local artists. So that's gonna be what's coming up, but. For his Inferno, Inferno always going to be there. I've made sure that this is the first place is there. Absolutely, man. I, I mean, I'm not Funk Flex, but I wish I had my bombs because I don't know how many interviews you done done, but I feel like we just got the exclusive. Inferno's last album is coming out soon. He has been working with a lot of artists, so he has features on it. You're going to want to tap into that project, man. As you've seen, from our past interviews this week, we've had an artist from uh, Gas House named T. Pope. We've had an artist from Gas House named Lil Hitter. And now we have the CEO sitting down with DJ Spaz out in Inferno. And you see the man behind the operation, the man that is instilling this family unit, this cohesiveness, pushing artists to be more than what they currently came in the door as. And just from man to man, Artist to artist, CEO to CEO, I have to say I salute you for keeping it real, for telling these artists what they need to know and assisting artists along the way, man. I appreciate that. Um, before we get up out of here, man, anybody you want to shout out, anything you want to say, the floor is yours, man. 
Um, I'm gonna shout out the other CEO, Miss Fury. Um, she's also the other CEO, also currently my wife. Also, um, <laughs> when when I pass the torch, I'm passing it down to her completely, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of the promotion side of the um, business. And I'm gonna let her run. Oh, uh, right now I have. Oh, I'm shout out Miss Jackson, the network queen. She is out of Chicago, and she has been. Tremendous on the team. She's the runner of Queen's and Queen Promo Tour. Uh, then I'm going to shout out my track my staff there. Big Shell, uh, T Pope, Lil Hill, uh, Bono, uh, Miller Queen, Who Got It, Cooley. <laughs> <Okay>. Hey. <laughs> I, I want to shout out everybody. Y'all know who got it. Y'all can guess how I'm going to do it. Hey, man, you heard it here first, man. Shout out to the whole Gas House Records family, man. Y'all are some quality artists with quality content. I need more music, man. I need every artist from Gas House Records on Next to Blow Radio because I need to see and we need to let the world see how Gas House is coming as a unit, man. We need it. We need it. We need it. So, um, real quick, man, this has been Next to Blow Radio the interview series this was episode four we do have more interviews coming tomorrow we got Bron ftg on the lineup and a couple more artists so make sure you like and follow this page man make sure you like and follow gas house records on all of their social medias tap into all of their artists because i'm telling you you will not be disappointed real quick before we get out of here if you picked up something from this interview i need you to flood the comments with the hundred emoji Drop a 100 in the comments if you received something from this interview that you did not know before tapping into this interview before we get up out of here. Once again, man, I am your boy, DJ Spaz out, Mr. No Filter, Mr. Versatile, Mr. Fix Your Motherfucking Face, Mr. Talk To Me. This has been a sit down with Inferno. Make sure you tap into us, like and follow us on our social medias. Tap into the radio station. And like that, and like that, we go. Hey, if you're not a hood hard DJ, then why are you alive? Hood hard DJs. DJ Spaz, now let's get it. Spaz on it. You hear that? You're tuned in to the industry's finest DJ. DJ Spaz, the motherfucking mixtape king, you bastards. You hear that? You're tuned in to the industry's finest DJ. DJ Spazza. The motherfucking mixtape king, you bastards. You hear that? You're tuned in to the industry's finest.